Hello everyone, welcome back to our Plutter tutorial series. In today's video we are going to explore how to create a Plutter app with a styled Google Map using Google Maps Plutter. We will be working with custom map style to give your app a unique and appealing look. So let's dive right in. So basically I have uh, already set up my uh, Plutter project. Uh, I have created a dart file and I have just used the Google map here on the body of the escape world and just initialized my Google map controller and that's it uh, and now we will be learning how can we change the theme style in our platform application so firstly we need to uh, go and visit the map style dot with google dot com website and just uh, design our map accordingly uh, and here now just we will design our map so if you need the dark mode or if you, or if you need the night mode any other mode if your requirement whatever your requirement is so just check on that and you can further uh, customize it by more going to more options and just um, filling the store and changing the color you can play uh, with your uh, map here so basically uh, you can you can play with the map accordingly but I will be just taking this uh, dark as the default when I check this and I will be just clicking the finish button and here I will see her JSON file so I'll be just copying the JSON and going back to my uh, Plutter project and I will be just creating a folder in my assets folder which will be maps theme directory and in this directory I will be just uh, pasting my that JSON uh, here so this yes yeah so I will just paste it here and save it and uh, we need to get the path of this directory into our pubspec.yml file so we will be just doing that also so yeah I'll be just copying this and paste this and so we will be just pasting maps theme here now yeah you are good to go now you are now you you can access this uh, maps directory and to your platter project so let's begin by just creating uh, an at state in our project so we should initialize the uh, styling map and set the map to our uh, this json json dot dart file so let's just do that we will be using the init state and yeah now we will be just uh, loading this json file so we will be just using the default uh, asset bundle sorry default asset bundle and taking the context of this and we will be loading the string uh, which we get the path of this JSON here so what is the path it's is under the assets uh, and maps directory and inside the map directory we will get our JSON file which is dark theme dot JSON and yeah now we will be clicking uh, then going to the then function and in the then, then function we will be just so I'll be just naming this value to the theme value to just identify the name and here you go now I will be just creating a new variable here uh, and we will store the this JSON uh, value into our new variable so we will just call that variable and set the map style to our uh, json 
so here I will be just creating a string and map theme initialize it with empty and yeah you are go good to go uh, now 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 just come here and this map theme is equal to our uh, theme value yeah this theme value so now we will be just calling our theme into our this controller so basically uh, controller this control controller uh, is equal to set map style and we will be just calling our variable we have just created and here you go you are done by creating a custom theme style into your platform application so we will just already start it and see if the theme changes or not say you have got the dark theme into your platter application but but it is the default theme now uh, we have set the default theme has a dark theme of our this dark theme dot json accordingly but now how can we give uh, access to the user to change the theme so it's also very simple so let's just do that so uh, for that we need a button which uh, user should click on that and a bunch of options should appear accordingly the user can change the map theme so we will be just adding a button here on our uh, app bar which which will be our action so we will be adding some pop-ups on our action on the app bar so let's just create that we will be using action here and on the action we will be using the pop-up menu buttons and it requires the item builder so let's just provide it it uh, needs a context and we will return um, a list so basically it accepts a list return so in the list we will be just creating our uh, custom button so I will be just adding the standard one and this dark one. so you can add whatever choices you need you can customize the theme according uh, your requirements so here I will be just adding the pop-up item so in the child we will just give it a name so it will be basically a text widget here and it will be the standard one so uh, yeah now we will be just also come implementing our home tip functionality so basically what will we do when we tap when the user tap if the map is um, on the complete state so let's just change the theme so we will be using our completer dot future which will be uh, dot then and here value so yeah uh, value and again we will be calling our this all uh, thing here so, yeah we have called the future then the value and here we will be just calling our default default asset bundle with we will take the context and here you go we will be just taking the load string and we will just provide our path which is this we will copy it from here and just paste it and here you go we will be just calling then function here dot then yeah now we will be just changing this to theme value so this both the value and this value are same so for not being conflict I'll be just changing this name so yeah now I will be just calling my this completer which value we get value dot set mail and yeah now I'll be just 
uh, calling my theme value this so yeah we are done with creating a one simple button with the standard so let's just Now see a uh, standard button appears on our uh, Google map so let's just uh, quickly create the second button I will be just copying this from here and just paste it here and I will be just clicking the dark dark style and uh, here you go we will be just also uh, taking the standard JSON from this site which is provided by Google so here I will be just clicking the finish and I'll be just copying the uh, JSON file and I'll be creating another dot file for the standard JSON which will be a standard a standard theme dot JSON and I'll be just passing my copied JSON and just yeah, uh, yeah you are good to go with the uh, standard theme also I'll be just providing it here which is a standard SDA and DRD yeah great now I'll be just auto restarting my application and let's just see yeah now see the map is basically started with the dark theme so now I will be just uh, clicking my pop-up button and I'll be selecting the standard the standard theme so the theme will be uh, changed back to our standard theme so now I'll be clicking the dark style so it will go uh, with the dark dark theme so yeah basically we are done so congratulations you have just learned how to create a plotter app with a customized google map using google maps plotter package feel free to explore more map styling options and make your app visual appealing uh, don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more exciting plotter tutorials uh, if you have any questions or need further assistance please leave a comment below and we will be happy to help Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Stay tuned for more exciting Flutter tutorials and epic coding with Flutter.